Speaking with Kalina Mosqueda Lewis and Seattle Storm, professional player, local story for us. Uh, Kalina, modern day, yep. UConn, yep. very good career. Talk about, if you can, your uh, your experience here with the Seattle Storm. No, it's it's been good. You know, this is my fifth season in the league with the Seattle Storm, and um, last year obviously was a really good year for us, winning the mm -hmm. the championship. But it's been good. You know. Um, being able to stay close to home was really nice for a change and not having to go across the country like I did at UConn. But, no, it's been good. We're a close-knit group of people. We have mm -hmm. basically almost the same team I've had since my rookie season, so it's been nice. Yes, and uh, as they say, the current, current champions in the WNBA and missing Brianna Stewart, of course, has been a big, big blow to the team. But mm -hmm. you guys are still in the mix, still in the hunt. Yeah, we're still in the mix. I think it's it's obviously it's, it's a huge difference without Stewie and without Sue um, mm -hmm. being with us this year but I think we've just for the most part found different ways to keep ourselves like you said in the mix mm -hmm. uh, and if we can Kalina some words to the, your fans because there's a fan base for you here in Southern California as you know uh, LA and Orange County but talk about how it was for you to get to this level no, it was hard. You know, it was a lot of hours spent in the gym, and there's a lot of good basketball players uh, out here in Southern California. Um, yeah, but it was a lot of hours in the gym with my dad, a lot of persistency, mm -hmm. and just, you know, working hard every single day. And yeah, that's about it. Okay. But in the off season, there's a chance for you to come back to the community. You give as much as you take, of course, but you like more giving to the younger yeah. set that is now watching you, the mm -hmm. fan base. Uh, talk about the persistence and uh, some of the things they need to really uh, stay focused on. Yeah, I mean, I would say the number one thing that my mom always harped on was school. You know, mm. she definitely was big on my education, and if my grades weren't right, she mm -hmm. reminded me every day that that was what was really going to take me far. You know, we're not like the men. You don't go to school for one year and you can leave. You mm -hmm. got to go to school for four years, get your degree, and then you can go. Um, that's first and foremost. But secondly, I think... Um, one of the most important things that people forget is important is your attitude mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and whether that be on your good days or your bad days your attitude has to stay the same all the time and, and talk about if we can just for a moment because it's so important Mater Day, of course huge is great school uh, college prep of course but uh, the athletic programs yeah. Speak for themselves. Talk a little bit how that gave you the boost to move on. Uh, yeah, definitely. My freshman year, I was lucky um, to come in with Coach Kevin Kiernan. Um, and he was definitely someone who pushed me to my limits when I was in high school. He didn't care if I was the best player on the team. Uh, he was constantly yelling at me mm -hmm. and expecting the best for me. Um, and it got me ready for college. It got me ready for the pros. So mm -hmm. he definitely played a huge part in uh, who I am now. In the Seattle Storm, of course, very huge in north of the northwest part of the country. But uh, you have a lot more to go, a lot more games, and then the playoffs. And uh, right now, would you say the status of the team, the chemistry, has been on a rebuild season because you don't have Brianna? Uh, how's that going for you? Uh, yeah, I think it's been a little bit of a rebuild. But like I said, a lot of these people have been here since my rookie season, or at least two years, and so. We know each other well. We just have to find a different way to work together. It's not going to be the same exact way that we won games last year. It's going to take everybody this year to, to chip in and do their part. Okay. Uh, hopefully we'll follow you as, when you come back. This is a way we can make a connection with some of the players that we understand and we know have a, a Latino background. And, of course, it's just so important that our, our kids are able to watch you as a role model. Thank you. Yeah. So, I mean, we come back here at least twice a year and it's nice to come back and see family and even girls that I've coached or mm -hmm. just been able to watch play when I'm coming back home. Well, Kalina, we're going to have more of your story uh, as time goes by. So thank you for giving us this opportunity. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Okay. And there is our interview with Kalina Mosqueda uh, Lewis and first time to meet her. Great time to know her, and she's going to get back to our community. Uh, okay, we're going to take a quick break here and try to catch up to the Sparks. This is the LA Sports Scene coming to you from the Staples Center. We'll be right back. <laughs> 